Hey, it's Polar Bear back for another video. I'm going to teach you how to scrap a freezer. This is a stand-up freezer we're going to be doing today. Uh, the name is on the front right here. Um, so if you ever get one of these and you need some lunch money or something like that and you're broke or something. So what I'm going to show you today is how to get copper out of it. Wire copper. I'm, I'm going to take it out and everything. Uh, copper here, copper here. I'm going to take it out uh, so I won't be doing the video on that. Um, but what you want to make sure, make sure you get the uh, antifreeze out. You know, break this little stem right here. Granted, this is copper too. Um, but break that little stem. Don't put your face next to it or nothing. You don't want to do that because it will make you very, very sick. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video real quick and we're going to be back in a second. Alright, we got most of the copper out. Uh, we got pretty much all of it out. Um, I got the wiring out. I'll show you, I left a little bit in there because I'm just doing a video on this. Um, remember to take, make sure the antifreeze is broken so it don't you know, release in your face or anything like that. But I'm going to show you these pieces. Uh, granted, there ain't a lot, you know, out of there. But, uh, I got a little bit that's about two pounds so it'd be about four dollars and all so four dollars is better than no dollars um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video one more time until I get to a stove and a refrigerator and I'm gonna show you a washer how to do the washer so we're gonna go ahead and pause this video and I'll be right back Alright, uh, back, um, uh, doing a stove. I already took off the back, uh, it's just a Phillips head, or a screwdriver, as you call it. Um, but only thing really good in here, and this ain't really good money, it's only two cents a pound, uh, the scrap. Uh, granted, I can't get inside of here where all this white stuff is, you see it right there. Because my wife will kill me, she don't want it all on her yard. So, we're not gonna go in there, because she might kill me. But I'm going to go ahead and take all this wire out. I'm going to let you watch me. Yes, granted, I might not be talking, but we're going to do it. So let's go ahead and get it done. But remember, if you take it to the scrap, you need to cut off the ends. Because if not, it'd be way less money. So you got to cut off all these ends. Um, even the metal ends, like when you rip it out of here. Uh, you got to cut all them off and all of these but we'll go ahead and rip this side out come on over here rip this side all out now remember if you like this video or you see it on youtube or anything like that remember like it share it and subscribe if you don't like it uh I don't know that, um, but hopefully y'all will like it, but what we're going to do, granted a knife ain't the best thing, some wire cutters would be better uh, to do this, and like I said, I would have got in here where the white stuff is, but it's fiberglass and my wife don't want it all in her yard, so we're not going to go to that point and get in trouble, so down here, yes, granted you can take the tool you need to get these off, but we're not going to. Um, I'll get that off on a separate thing. So let's go ahead and cut this, or let's go ahead and rip these cords out. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this off. Granted, my knife is dull. Because I've been cutting wire with it. Alright, there's one whole piece right there. Um, yes, if you're married or not, and you can get into this piece, um, then go ahead and do it. My wife will not let me, so, but if you can't, there's only, let's see if we can rip it out without pulling or messing up anything 
Okay, we cannot rip it up, but we're what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut this um, as close as we can, cut it so we can get a little extra money. Sorry if y'all heard that car ride by. Go ahead and cut this right here. Let's see if we can cut it this way. It'd be a lot easier. Boom. There's more wire out on that. Um I think that's about all in this. So what we would do is we will stop this video and we're going to be doing a washer next. Mostly in a washer is going to be this right here. This. Um, so, it won't be no problem. Um, so, we'll be back for in a second for a washer. Thank you and pause. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip the washer because they're really ain't a lot of wire in it so um you can take the plug off uh if you want to break in it you can um but i decided not to so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to break the antifreeze without you know get in a big old mess so let's go ahead and break it what i'm going to do is get my camera woman to step back and zoom in on it um so don't get her All right, we're gonna go ahead and break it. Just wiggle it, do whatever you gotta do. Well, that one did not have none. That's a good thing. Hold on, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, it didn't have none, so that's a good thing. Uh, so this is copper right here. Um, this whole piece up to right about here is copper. Sorry, my hands are dirty, but it'll be all good. Uh, so you want to break this off. Like I say, you can get the tools to do it. Uh, all you need is metal cutters and stuff like that, or a needle nose, or whatever you want to use to do it. But we're gonna go ahead and do more of this copper. I'm going to show you how to break it all. So give me one second and I will get started. So, um, what we're going to do is, okay, copper only comes up to here on this. This is not copper. Uh, so you have to break this. So let's go ahead and break this all right now that's copper right there granted you got to take this little um uh what is these things called <laughs> um zip ties sorry uh, i forgot what they was called for a second so granted sometimes antifreeze might still come out if you break different pieces so just make sure your face is back off of it and there is, um, another thing, there is copper all that leads all the way up into this refrigerator right here. So, but I don't usually go all up in there to get that. You got your wire copper down a little bit here. You got, you know, your plug. You got this copper, but we're going to go ahead and break this. But like I said, you have copper that leads all the way up in these things. And if you don't like doing this, uh, there's people that will buy refrigerators. Granted, I don't uh, sell them because I love doing it. I'm trying to rip this off real quick, but I love doing it. Uh, so, we don't sell them. But there's more copper and then wire copper you can rip out. Granted, I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to pause this video for a second. And I'm going to get inside of the freezer 
because what it is behind the freezer inside will be a radiator it's gonna be aluminum radiator so we're gonna get that out but I'm not gonna get it out I'm gonna show you how to get it out but I gotta make sure I take the back off and stuff like that um, so I'm gonna pause this video one more time and I will start it again all right uh, now like I was just saying before I paused the video was there was a aluminum if I ain't saying that right forgive me uh, radiator in here remember this is copper though uh, you just have to pull it off of there now we got a full thing copper okay this is all aluminum so what we have to do to get it out is pretty much rip it just be careful because I'm gonna tell you right now these little things right here right there will cut you real quick um so I don't want that to happen make sure you got gloves on make sure you got gloves on um so we're gonna go ahead and kind of rip it out but what we're gonna do is be very very careful and we're gonna maybe twist it until it comes out so let's go ahead and see if it does so go ahead and give me a second and we'll see All right, so it ain't coming out like that. So what we're gonna do is hopefully not cut ourselves because we don't got our gloves on. Okay. We got it out. That's what it's gonna look like. This thing, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you, this little thing makes this whole thing cold. That little thing makes the whole thing cold. So that is crazy. I never knew that until somebody told me. Um, Old wise man. So, but like I was telling you, like I was telling you uh, earlier, is here's more copper. All right there's more copper. Yes, there's black tape on it, but you can rip that off. But I was telling you that copper runs from the very bottom, very bottom of this, all the way to the ground, up all the way here. And comes out here to connect to the radiator. Um, might be even copper in there. No, that's aluminum in there. But there's a little bit of copper you could break. Might be the pain of a butthole to break it. Sorry if it's loud. We're in a uh, freezer. So, and I will be doing videos on most like most likely in about a week or two on radiators how to clean them or I might do a part of it real quick for y'all um don't know quick yet but like I said this could be a pain breaking this now because it's inside with all that foam all that foam right here and it's a pain I think that's foam yeah that's foam. but uh you have to keep messing with it and it will break remember this is called as dirty if you don't get this off so you won't get paid two dollars a pound you get paid like I don't even know because I never did it <laughs> so and here's another piece of copper it's a little piece but we'll go ahead and see if we can get that ripped off real quick oh it's getting hot Okay, we did not rip it off, but I'll get it off in just a second. Um, but there is, I think I did three things, or two, yeah, three things. A stove, a stand-up freezer, and stuff like that. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and end this video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below.